Okay, so in the, up to now, I've, I've explained uh, next generation proteomics. We've explained how the aftermarket platform works. And now I'm going to tell you but why. Why did we do this? Why is this an advantage over the other platforms? Where is the, where is the big kick on doing all of this? And the thing is that with 16.8 million sequences and all the structures we're looking at, we are going with much more power than you are with the other with the panel approach. And that means we're getting multiple hits per protein. We're getting redundancy. And with multiple hits, that means that we can then be looking at epitopes on the protein. And we can be saying, okay, this protein is there, just concentration. This epitope is changing. There must be a post-translational modification here or a cleavage event happening here. This is really powerful because at this level, it's, it's in terms of biomarkers, it's generally not the canonical form of the protein that is causing the disease or, or the new manifestation of a medical state. It's much more the protein going bad, the protein, uh, something happening to it, like diabetes getting glycosylated, like Alzheimer's disease, misfolding, a, a lot of these different things. That's really the, the nuts and bolts of biomarkers is being able to identify that. And that is implicit in our platform. We can pull that out of our platform and enable that observation. Now you're thinking, I've watched these. This is great. How do we get involved and how do we work with people? Where we are, are setting up a lot of pilot projects throughout the world right now with this platform. Um, we charge 500 euro per sample, and uh, that includes everything. So if you're if you're interested in, in working with us, learning more about this, uh, just contact us, and uh, we'll we'll set up a meeting. Thanks. Bye.